Well, the Javits Center welcoming back one of its biggest attractions. The New York International Auto Show returns tomorrow, and this year, New York's electric vehicle program will be a highlight. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller has more on what you can expect to see. Finally, the New York International Auto Show is back after a three year hiatus. New this year, they've got an indoor test track so you can try out these electric vehicles like the new Hyundai Ionic 5. So when you come here this weekend, they'll actually have a professional driver sit in the driver's seat. You buckle up and then you can actually take this car for a spin indoors. The reason you can do that is because this has zero emissions. I think electric vehicles is really the wave of the future. And the future is now. The Ionic 5 was just named World Car of the Year, and it's fast. I mean, this is about as much torque as you would get out of a pretty big V8. It can charge in just minutes, and the range is similar to what you get from a tank of gas. Now we're in the range of, you know, 300 miles is kind of the standard, you know, and it's going to only go up from here. Across the show floor at Ford, both the F-150 and the Mustang are going all electric. And at Toyota, their full-size Sequoia is even offering a hybrid model. And we're electrifying 70 of our vehicles by 2025. Of course, there's the usual showstoppers, the Rolls Royces, Bentleys, and Lambos. But for power on a budget, check out the new Nissan Z with 400 horsepower. And their all-electric Aria gets 300 miles per charge. No more worries can I have an electric car. You can, and it will be the most advanced, quietest, most comfortable vehicle ever. Independent car makers are here, too. California-based Indy EV showed us what's basically a home office and gaming system on four wheels. Everyone's going to have crazy good range. Everyone's going to have crazy torque. But if the car's not fun to be in, that's a disadvantage to drivers and passengers. And finally, Volkswagen's going for nostalgia, updating the iconic microbus with the all-electric ID Buzz coming to the U.S. next year. We're spending more than $100 billion on electrification by 2025. Well, speaking of Volkswagen, this is a little more my style. It's a 2023 Golf R. It's got a stick shift. You can see cars like this and many others starting tomorrow here at the Javits Center. The New York International Auto Show runs until April 24th. Reporting here at the Javits Center, I'm Derek Waller, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Just very cool. Meanwhile, you can watch our special in the fast lane that's all about the auto show. It airs this Saturday night at 7 right here on Channel 7.